Hello everyone and welcome to another beer review. Now today we're on a kind of a Spanish beer and it's actually from Lanzarote. Yes, and it's from the Malpas Brewery, Lanzarote, and it's called Bermeja. Bermeja, which actually means vermilion, so it means kind of, kind of the reddish kind of colour. Um, and of course, it's a red IPA, and it's got a wee bit of oolala to it. It's six point seven percent. So how's that? Put a bit of oolala. But it's only a 330ml bottle. How much it costs, I couldn't tell you. I was brought this back a gift from the the wife, or by the wife, um, when she was over there in, in a November time. And uh, yeah, and that's what it is. So yeah, I don't really know much about it, apart from it's quite a new brewery that uh, makes this. And apparently it's a kind of collaboration between a, a tenor singer and kind of beer brewer and uh, a winemaker who basically created this brewery and, and now making beers. So that's something interesting. So let's see what it's like. Something a bit different. <clears throat> I think I've got another one. I think I've got a darker one to do as well. Oh, fucking hell, it's pissing everywhere. Oh, fucking balls. Jesus. That's been everywhere. Oh, it's all over my bloody... Oh, shit. Right, anyway, let's get this bloody poured. Jesus, God. Bloody Spanish. Well, that's gone, man. Anyway. So for people in the, the podcast, it's a kind of reddish kind of uh, hazy colour, but it's kind of like light kind of amber, kind of hazy colour. So yeah, it is actually quite hazy. Bloody hell. And uh, it's about a slightly kind of off-white head. And yeah, I would probably say about a finger. And there you go. Smell-wise. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting malt. That's what I'm getting, just kind of malt. And quite a lot of malt, actually. Yeah. To the point is, it smells a bit warty. That's how kind of malty it is. It's bordering with kind of warp smell. The people don't know what malt wort is. That's the kind of uh, the grain and malt soup you actually make before you actually add any yeast to start fermentation. So it's the kind of your base kind of uh, brewing liquid. So it's before fermentation. And yeah, oh God, yeah. That is very warty. Right, let's see what it tastes like. Right, okay. One, that is quite warty. So it's yes, yeah, so it's quite malty. And with the alcohol, you, you are getting slightly kind of vapors as well with it. And uh, yeah, oh, there's nothing refreshing about that. It does, it feels incomplete. So it does. It does. It, 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 imagine alcoholic wort. That, that's what it tastes like. And while making beer, you smell the wort and everything else, and it smells quite nice and everything else, and maybe a little tasty, see what it's like, and all that type of stuff. This feels very raw because of it. It really does feel quite raw. And a bit kind of sickening because of that. It's just not right. It's not how it should be. Oh, right. It's getting a bit better, but 
There is a little bit of hops near the end there. The hops are starting to come through it and just near the end, especially the kind of back end of the aftertaste. But overall, in general, it's okay, but it just feels it's a bit lacking. So it's, um, yeah, overall, yeah, it just. It actually tastes a bit like a homebrew that's gone a bit wrong. It really does. It just feels that like it, something's went wrong. Alcohol can have been... And that's another thing, because you are getting in the throat with alcohol, but it doesn't feel as if it's part of the beer. So it's like you've got like two separate things. You have like wort and alcohol, and they're not really quite kind of going together. And... Mm. Oh, I'm gassy as well. Um... No, that really is quite. No, it does. It feels like it's unfinished. It feels like. It just. It feels like the fermentation stopped early. It really does. It feels like 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 that. There's not so much for hops apart from what you're getting near the back end of the, the aftertaste. It's really all malt. Malt, basically, front and mouth, mid-tongue. And the best way to describe it is just what. There's no kind of the kind of isolated malt flavours of um, fruitiness or caramel or toffee or anything like that. It's just that kind of mismatch kind of what boiled grain type feel to it and yeah and then you've got this kind of the alcohol kind of going alongside it at 6.7 percent and just you know what it do is it just tastes like a homebrew that's gone wrong it doesn't taste like a finished or an accomplished beer yeah Maybe she should stick to sin. Maybe he should stick to wine. <clears throat> no, no, that's sin. That is because, especially with brewing myself, it's a flavour that you just know and it stands out. I and mean, it stood out for me, I think it was with Doombar Zero, the non alcoholic version of Doombar. And it just felt like diluted wort that's what it was it hadn't there was no feel it actually went through fermentation whereas this isn't quite as bad as that but you feel that there's been a bit of fermentation but it stopped early and uh they haven't managed to kick start it again and uh yeah so what they thought is well it feels like they've maybe topped up with additional alcohol I'm not saying they have, but that's what it feels like. And it just feels like, yeah, it's been, they're trying to salvage a bad batch. That's where the fermentation has uh, failed. Fairly. And yeah. Yeah. I can't really break down the flavours because the flavours aren't really there. There's nothing that's kind of developed. It's just kind of warped with alcohol. That's the only way you describe the flavours. There's a little bit of hoppiness at the back end, just at the very back of the mouth, just as you're swallowing. So you're looking at that thinking, what would I give that out of 10? No, no, God, no, it's undrinkable. What would I give out of 10? Um, quite sweet as well because of that. Oh, I've got to give it a one. It's a disaster. Let's be totally honest. That's a disaster. That really is. That's bordering on not actually being a beer. That's bordering on being a kind of a, it's almost like a health tonic <sighs> with alcohol. It really is. It's, that's just, that's bad. That really is quite bad. Um, oh, bloody hell.
I've got it, but since we've started since doing these reviews, by God, have I basically put some shit to my lips. Fucking hell, seriously. And uh, it's amazing how within the beer industry they always find new ways to surprise you and uh, almost to a kind of degree poison you. And, uh, yeah, and sometimes you take, like, something like that, you're drinking, you're thinking, it's, it feels like you're fucking poisoning me. It really does. It's just dreadful. Um, And, yeah. You also kind of question, do they taste these bloody beers? I mean, seriously, do they actually taste them? And are they that arrogant or so far up their own arse? You know, retentiveness is, a, is the word for it. That everything they do is so wonderful that it can't, it can't be classed as bad or wrong. And if, even if it's not that great, they've made it so, you know, that the plebs will think it's wonderful because I've made it type scenario. I sometimes wonder if there's that kind of, complex going on inside them the thought process because you sometimes wonder why the fuck did you waste that shit and put it in a bottle and give it a label seriously I mean all you're just doing is wasting packaging to transport that piss that's going to basically affect your reputation and yeah um, that's just utter well, that's dire it really is absolutely dire I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be, but it's absolute piss water. So anyway, what can I say? Um, I don't know how much it cost. It was part of a three pack. Um, so I've got the two darker ones with me. Um, I think the the light one is still back down in Devon, so I'll we'll be doing that later on. Um, but for this one, yeah, one out of ten, 330ml bottle, 6.7%. Don't know how much it cost. It's just awful. It really is just awful. I wouldn't say I, I, I don't recommend it or it's not for me and I certainly wouldn't buy it again. I didn't buy it in the first place. I'm bloody glad it did. I won't make the mistake of the person that did buy it by buying it myself. And I would recommend do not buy it. If you're in the Lanzarote, drink anything. Drink the water. Drink the seawater. Drink the seawater before you even can contemplate going near this stuff because it's just dreadful. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers. And bye for now.